Today we're diving into the world of black and white photography, something I encourage all photographers to do. So grab your camera, let's get snapping. A bit of background on this before we start. On a recent trip to London, I decided to shoot a whole bunch of black and white film photography. So I did this to really test my own photography skills, but also to see how it would affect my photography. And in this video, this is basically what I found out. Now I was shooting a whole bunch of different Ilford film stocks. So I'll put them up throughout the video. Let me know your favorite down in the comments. So for this, I really do recommend maybe experimenting with some black and white film. If you don't want to shoot film, you can just just turn on something in your digital camera that hopefully will display the images just in black and white. This is to get the full benefits of looking for black and white images. We'll go through this in a sec, but let's jump in. Reason number one, to enhance your composition. This is a pretty simple one, but for me, it's probably the biggest reason you should experiment with black and white photography. When you shoot in black and white, you're really forced to pay more attention to the composition, line, shape, light, and even textures in your frame. Obviously, taking the color out of the image means there's one less element that can really help make your photo stand out. This makes those other elements more important. Because of this, it can help you develop a stronger eye for composition and really develop your photography skills. Reason number two, encouraging creativity through creative constraints. In the creative process, by putting certain constraints on yourself, like only shooting black and white, it can actually really help with the overall creative process, forcing you to think a little bit outside the box, challenging you to find new ways to capture your subject and tell a story without relying on color. This is another reason I really love shooting film. The entire film process does introduce certain constraints, which can really help make you a better photographer, relying a little bit more on other skills that sometimes we may neglect in the digital process. And in the same way, I think black and white photography can really do this. Whether film or digital, black and white or color, one isn't better than the other, they are just different. And this is why ultimately it is just good to experiment and try different sides of photography, learning and building different skills. All right, reason number three is timelessness. Whether you love it or not, black and white photography does have this classic timeless quality that always seems to transcend different trends. If you can capture a beautiful image in black and white, it usually will stand the test of time. It can have a huge power to evoke emotions and tell stories that perhaps sometimes color photography may not. Again, if we strip away all the colors, we're left with the really raw essence of the photo. This allows the viewer to really focus on the subject and the emotions it conveys. This leads right into reason four, emphasizing mood and emotion. Black and white photography really does have this unique way of conveying mood and emotion. Again, removing color leaves us with this interplay of light and shadow, which can create a really powerful and dramatic effect. This can sometimes help you tell a more compelling story and also help train your eye to really look for these type of images. Again, not only providing a unique look, but helping train your overall photography skills. Last but not least, simplifying the overall editing process. Don't get me wrong, as a photographer, sometimes my favorite part is actually the editing process, but sometimes it is nice to simplify this. Whether you are shooting film or digital, editing black and white photos can be a far more straightforward process compared to color images. You can focus on adjusting the contrast, brightness, and shadows without having to worry about the overall balance of color or saturation. Yes, this will save you some time in the editing process, but it will also force you to focus a little bit on the overall balance of light in your photos. Again, improving your overall eye and photography skills. So there you have it, five great reasons why you should give black and white photography a try, improve your skills, tell compelling stories, and create timeless images that really stand out. If you haven't experimented with black and white photography, I really encourage you to give it a try. If you're experimenting with black and white film, I encourage you to try out Ilford, some of my favorite black and white film stocks. Let me know your favorite down in the comments. Again, thanks so much for watching. Keep on creating and keep on growing, my friends. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos here. See you in the next one.